Good morning everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. I am in rainy Yorkshire today. I am here to film a video and the heavens have just opened. I'm like a few minutes into my ride now and I am riding while I'm attempting to ride today a section of the Tour de France when it was here in 2014 so it's like basically my route today is like home moss it basically goes to like Langset and then I think the tour finished in like the middle of Sheffield in like Meadow Hall or something I'm gonna avoid that going into the center of Sheffield but I'm basically just gonna ride around the Yorkshire lanes the roads where the tour went and it seems quite fitting because Tour de France is on at the minute and yeah fancied riding somewhere a bit different and yeah I'm looking forward to it so let's crack on on home moss and I'm dying. <laughs> this is pretty savage. Beautiful though. It's green all around. I literally can't breathe. It's so hot today. And I put a long sleeve on. Rookie error. I'll show you when I get to the top. There's also hay fever. I feel like someone sat on my chest. To the top. Guys, we've made it to the top of Home Mars. Holy <laughs> that is such a steep climb. <laughs> what the hell? I've never ridden it before. I was going very, very <laughs> slowly up it. Very slowly. But the views from the top are ridiculous. Like, it's just literally on top of the world. So now, basically, I think the route went that the Tour de France did went over Home Mars and then down the other side of Home Mars is Woodhead Pass. And if you're from this area, I've literally passed so many riders coming up that have like U turned and gone back down because I I don't want to land myself on Woodhead Pass. It's like one of them literally. There's like Woodhead snakes, and when it's past, and they're like, when it's time, it's just a December. Snakes pass and Woodhead Pass are so busy with wagons, like it's literally just a rat run all day, like a continuous stream of traffic. I'm turning around now and descending back down Home Moss and then back onto the other part of the route. I'm pretty sure I descend back down now into home first and then like I go down towards like Langset and also oh my god my lips are trapped because it's so windy and dry up here. But mega so bad. roasting but I've got like all my GoPro and my camera in my back pocket so I'm having to put my rain cape on to keep all that dry so it doesn't break but it's still really hot it's like 20 odd degrees so I'm like a boil in the bag rice you know those packets you put in the water and you just bubble away so it's just me right now it's beautiful around it so nice Right, my GoPro has completely had enough. Luckily, I bought this camera with me so I can film, but I'm not gonna keep it out for too long because it is in and out rain. So really quickly, whilst it's kind of showering and not pouring down, I've just come up from that road behind me and we're now at the top of the Strines, I think. I mean, it is raining, so we're gonna do this ASAP Rocky, but it's beautiful. I'm gonna go down here, do basically a loop round, skirt round Sheffield and then back. And the route that I'm doing was stage two of the tour in like 2014. And I think it finished in like the centre of Sheffield and I'm obviously not going to go there. I'm literally going to avoid that 
and like skirt around it because it's a Sunday and it's going to be super busy and I'm not really sure what is going on with this weather but it is horrendous so I'm going to crack on now go down here and then I'm going to loop back around in front of like Sheffield area and then hopefully get a bit of sun so in between the rain there's this so beautiful the sun is there somewhere just not not when we want it I'm finding it so hard to get stuff filmed today with the weather it's so like on and off but it's beautiful now I think I'm right at the top of the shrines now on my way back it's absolutely stunning just fields and hills all around bedroom I have been useless and I got back from that ride and I was genuinely so cold a little bit over that ride I'm not gonna lie it was just like completely morale sapping it was like on and off rain all day it was that rain that like it was dead muggy and we just needed to get home I actually ended that ride and I basically just came straight home we're here we're back here yeah i didn't pick up the camera again that day weather actually literally like progressively got worse as the day went on i loved as much as the rain really really got to me i absolutely loved that ride i loved riding somewhere completely fresh riding somewhere new it was super super nice as always my strava is linked in the description i definitely want to go back to that part of the world and do like ride those same lanes again but when the weather is obviously a lot better and it's going to be on my side. Yeah, so I hope I got enough film for you guys. I do just want to jump on and say now that a few days ago I got sent a bike shed from the guys over at Asgard. I'm pretty sure you guys who think about your bike safety at home will have heard of Asgard. They are a bike shed company. They are flipping unreal. They are so good and they very kindly have sent me one of their police approved bike sheds. This got sent to me like a few days ago. If you head over to my Instagram, you will see like the picture over there so you can have a little more of an insight into what it looks like and things like that. However, I did film for you guys how to build it basically. Me and my dad basically built it together and yeah, it was super easy, super quick and I'm so chuffed with mine. I've had so many messages on Instagram since saying like, are these, are these actually like legit are they like safe whatever i can fully say i would not be saying this if i didn't completely agree and believe in this brand they honestly they're ace so yeah anyway without rambling on if you continue to watch you will see the shed build going ahead that me and my dad both built together a few days ago
Without further ado, I hope you are happy, healthy, safe wherever you are in the world. I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys.